So when designing a home. Okay. Uh oh. What advice <laughs> would you give? Um, What's the most important? I would say what the most important, I mean, I would say, you know, I always tell clients, you know, we, we're looking at kind of like three things. We're looking at sort of the location, the architecture, and the lifestyle. So mm -hmm. I always talk about authenticity in general. I love when people's homes feel authentic and they really sort of tell their story and right. it feels like them. Feels and it feels, good. it feels, it's not, it's not that I'm reproducing sort of my aesthetic or what I would do for myself over and over again. Mm -hmm. I'm actually taking very much into consideration my client, their family, the, the, the individual, the brand, sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. And so that, I think that's important. Definitely, absolutely. Do, do clients ever have like requests and you're like, it's going to look bad? Well, yeah, no, sometimes I'm like, oh my God. They're like, what do you think about this? I'm like, that'll look great in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, but the basement's not finished. I'm like, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The attic is such a good place for that. Now, you wrote a book about your home. I, Tell yes, us about I did. It. So, um, so I wrote a book about my house. It's called, the name of the book is American Beauty. It's been out for about two or three years now. Uh -huh. And the idea of the book was that um, I decided to choose a, ho a house where I sort of, from the area that I'm from, uh -huh. from central New York, and it's on one of the Finger Lakes, mm -hmm. and it's a lake house. And um, it's my escape from New York City, and it's sort of where I go to sort of Walk chill out, out and yeah. sort of, you know, do my thing. And I, the reason I called it American Beauty is not that it's the most beautiful house it, in America, but it, that it was really a story about, like, sort of going home, staying connected to where you're from. Uh -huh. and, um, and I wanted it to have that sort of storyline. It was also a house that was beautiful. in Brighton dire house. need of a renovation. It was basically falling down. There was about a thousand squirrels living in it. Oh, uh, wow. And interestingly, there was another person from television that was trying to buy it at the time and was gonna tear it down. It's Al Roker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Um, no, but it was, it was the funny thing was, so I met the owner um, at, a, at one of the restaurants in town by accident. Uh -huh. And he, I, he overheard me talking about the house and that I wasn't going to tear it down, that I was gonna renovate it Aww. and sort of make it like sort of relevant again uh -huh. and sort of modernize it and but really keep the spirit of the house. So he, that's how I ended up getting the house. And we actually have, yeah. so it's cool. we have some pictures of before yeah. and afters. Let's see. <laughs> so what do you, so you wow. can so see. Was this the dining room? That, yeah, that was the dining room. And the it good was bones. in its 1970s mm -hmm. glory. Wow, and then that's beautiful. Really but you know, what's really interesting about this photograph, the, the, you'll see the original photograph the, the before had um, beams in the ceiling. Uh -huh. And when, when we were sort of putting, we were looking where we could put speakers for the stereo system. And we found the original ceiling was kind of a cathedral sort of open space, uh -huh. so a volume. So it was really cool that I found it, and it was in pretty good condition. Oh, so awesome. we just, yeah, we just kind of brought that beautiful, back to life. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's another before then, picture. So yeah, so this is kind of a before picture. The new windows and doors were going in. There was one of those kind of 19, so very 19 circa 70s good big lighting. windows. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's great, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. So, so you put those windows in, you said? I did, yeah. I opened the view up, and then I put doors in where there were two double hung windows to really have access uh -huh. to the back. Love that. To the water side of the house. I love and, that. I love um, that natural yeah. light. Yeah, it's great. It's a really, you know, what's nice about the house is it, it really respects the history of the house. There's a really beautiful stone fireplace and the, be the original beams are from a barn that, were, that was on the property. And it really respects the old house, but it feels kind of fresh and updated. Yeah, definitely. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Thank you for giving us yeah. a look into your own personal life. Yeah. And I, I, now that you're here, I actually wanted to give you <laughs> and all of you a look into my own personal life. Oh, yeah. This is my actual okay. apartment in Nashville. Are you ready for really? this? Okay, this I'm ready. This is my bedroom. Okay. Brace yourself. Now this is the before. This is no, the bedroom. No, this that's is the after. This is that's the after. It? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my God. God, that that's is my actual awesome. apartment. Now, wow. We need that's to a, help him. That's totally. good thing you're not single. Is that pathetic? <laughs> I know. It's so sad. Oh my sad. God, it's, that's it's hilarious. Sad. Oh my God. And are we, any, do we get any window into your... She's into got your, great taste. Really? Kelly has great taste. I, yes, and I can tell. By the way, your dress is amazing. Thank you. I can't breathe, it's super thank cute. you. I... <laughs> like I had to remove a rib before the, the show. Now, That's hilarious. Tina Fey wrote the foreword yes. to your book. Yes, she which did. Is amazing. She's yes. incredible. She's amazing. What's She's it like a cool... to work with her? She and her husband, Jeff, they're very cool. They're um, great. They're a lovely couple. She's, her kids are really cute, too. And they have a beautiful house. Yeah, and I've, wor I've worked with them, and that's how... I asked her when I was doing the book if she would do the foreword. That's and sweet. And so, yeah, she was really sweet to do that. Do you still get tons of fans from Queer Eye coming up to you and telling them how, how much they love that show? Well, you know, it's so funny. So, oh, by the way, Carson sends his love. We I was love with Carson. him. I love Carson. Yes, yeah. Give him I was love. with him last night in Atlanta, and he and I were. Um, yeah. we, 
We were at an event for SCAD, uh, you know, um, the Savannah College of Art and Design, uh -huh. and it was her 40th birthday, so we were at a, an event for that last night. It was really fun. And, um, yeah, he wa definitely wanted me to send, right. send his love. He's the best. Now, Carson Kressley is your interior yeah. design trainee. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's my, yeah, and he's good. You know what's great about Carson? First of all, he's, I mean, he loves design. Uh -huh. And he's very, very passionate. He's very passionate. Oh, no, he loves design. I mean, he also loves, he'll buy, literally, wherever we go, he'll buy anything or just take it and put it in his trunk. And I'm like, uh -huh. Where? I'm like the floor in your apartment is going to collapse into the, the right, apartment below. Yeah. Um, but he, um, he loves it. And so he's a great, he's a great sort of apprentice assistant because he's really interested and he's a really hard worker, so he rolls his sleeves up and gets involved, right. which I love, because we're both like that. And we've worked and together he's fun before. To be around. He is the most hilarious person you could ever spend time with. Yes. And um, yeah, he can make any situation hilarious. And we just have a lot of fun together. I always say that we um, we take what we do very seriously, but we don't take ourselves very seriously. Right. So we were able to have a lot of fun. That's the trick. And it's Definitely. cool. Yeah, it's Absolutely. nice. You can buy Tom's latest book, American Beauty, Renovating and Decorating a Beloved Retreat, everywhere now.